Hey guys, how's it going? Heather Lind from Holy Fit here. Got your Holy Fit daily hit. Just a quick workout you can do anywhere, no equipment needed. And you're gonna feel really good for having done it, so might as well just do it. So I'm gonna share this with a couple of groups, so I just need to set it up. And today's a pretty simple one. Simple, not necessarily easy, but simple. So check it out and if you feel like doing it, go for it. Uh, just make sure that you warm up before you start and you cool down and stretch when you're done. So just going to share it. And there we go, a couple more groups here. So remember the warm up super important, don't skip it. I know sometimes it's kind of boring, but it is definitely necessary if you don't want to injure yourself. Alright, my computer is a little bit slow today. Just a couple more groups to share it with and then I'll show you the workout. So if you guys are doing these workouts, I would love to hear about it. Um, if there's anything you want me to focus on or explain better or whatever, just let me know. Um, I share this with you guys because I want to give you some stuff to do. I know when I was first starting to work out, I was always looking for ideas for workouts and um, Sometimes it was kind of hard to find some, so that's why I'm, I'm doing this, why I'm sharing this stuff with you guys. So you've got a little something you can do, and really super convenient because you can do it anywhere, and you don't need any equipment. So, no excuses. All right, so that's it. All right, so it's only going to be three exercises. You're going to do 10 reps of each of these three exercises, and you're going to go for 10 sets. So you might not make it to all 10 and that's okay. Maybe note down where you got to and then you can try it again later when uh, your fitness has improved a bit and see how much your fitness has improved because seeing those gains is really motivational and um, it's good to keep track of that. So you have to warm up. I'm going to assume you've already warmed up. Just three exercises, really super basic exercises. I'm going to start with squats. You're going to do 10 squats. Getting down nice and low. So when you squat, stick your butt out just like there's a chair behind you that you're going to sit down into and come back up. So most of the weight's going to go through your heels, a little bit through the toes, but not very much. You want to squeeze your butt, use your butt to help you get up. If you want to really practice that or really get a good feel for it, stand in front of a chair or your couch or whatever and squat down until you touch the chair or the couch or the bench and then stand back up. That's what the squat should feel like. So do 10 of those. Then you're gonna do 10 push-ups. So these can be done on your toes or on your knees. You wanna make sure your hands are in line with your chest. So in other words, we're not up here doing push-ups, so that's gonna be hard on your shoulders. Hands should be in line with the chest. If you were to lie down, your hands would be right lined up with your chest. So you do 10 of those. Um, if you can't do regular push-ups, you can try wall push-ups, or if you've got some dumbbells, you can do a chest press instead. And then once you do your 10, you're going to do 10 bicycles. You're going to go one, two, all the way up to 10. So with bicycles, make sure you're bringing the shoulder across the midline towards the knee. You're not just bringing the elbow across. You're supporting your head. You're not pulling on it. You've got a little bit of space between your chin and your chest. If you start to feel your neck while you're doing that, press your head into your hands. That will help to release the neck. And if that doesn't work, you could always just rest your head on the ground and just do the legs. If you've got sensitive hip flexors or a sensitive back, you could do just this part of the bicycle. All right, so that's it, just those three. So 10 squats, 10 push-ups, 10 bicycles, 10 sets. And make sure your form is perfect. So if your form starts to fall apart, take a little break. If you don't get through all 10 sets, that's okay, that's fine, <laughs> but that's your challenge. And then once you're done, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you stretch, and I'll show you some standing stretches today. So starting with your quadriceps, grab one ankle, support 
they're supporting me is a little bit soft to add some tight, healthy balance or grab something for balance, getting both quadriceps. You wanna hold these 20 to 30 seconds minimum, longer if you've got time. Hamstring stretch, weight goes back through the heel of the bent supporting leg. You're feeling the stretch up the back of the straight leg. Glute stretch, cross one leg over, sitting back. Hang on to something for balance if you want to, or even just sit down on a chair and cross one leg over. Gives you a really good glute stretch. And then you're gonna to wanna to open up the chest. So drop the shoulders down and back, opening up through the chest and the front of the shoulders. So just those few stretches, holding them 20 to 30 seconds minimum. Um, try to go a little longer if you've got some time and make sure your stretches feel good. If your stretches are hurting you, that means you've gone too far and you're risking injury. So make sure that you're not injuring yourself while you're stretching. And that's it. So any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. If you want to message me and ask me some questions, feel free. I'm always happy to help you out. Have an awesome day and I will talk to you again soon.